Good afternoon. I am Professor Robert Davis. As University Marshal, I have the privilege of convening this undergraduate commencement ceremony at the University of Hartford in its 145th year as an educational institution and its 65th year as a university. Seated on the stage are award recipients and their presenters, the administrators and regents of the university. We welcome all of you today, most particularly the candidates for degrees in whose honor we are gathered. <laughs> Reverend Michael J. Dolan will give the invocation. After the invocation, please remain standing and join the Heart School Commencement Chorus conducted by Phil Rittner in the singing of the National Anthem of the United States and the University alma mater, which can be found on page four in your program. Let us pray. We join together in gratitude for discovering in a profound way the life of the mind. We savor the blessing of this present moment for ourselves and our loved ones. Achievement is not a solitary experience, but an accomplishment of souls brought together for a greater good. May the goals realized today benefit our hope filled tomorrow. Amen. Please be seated. <clears throat> good morning to our graduates, or actually good afternoon to our graduates. 
your family members and friends. It's great to see everyone here today. I'm David Gordian, and I have the honor of being the chair of the university's Board of Regents and a UHART alum. On behalf of the entire board, I congratulate you on your tremendous accomplishments that we're celebrating today. Graduates, as you move on to the next phase of your lives, be it additional schooling, the beginning of your career, or in pursuit of simply learning more about yourself, know that this is your time to make a positive impact in your chosen profession, in our society, and across the globe. This is your time. It is a time where we've never needed your intellect, your compassion, and your creativity more. Nelson Mandela once said, and I quote, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world, unquote. Your education at UHART has prepared you to be successful in all aspects of your lives, to make a positive difference no matter what paths you choose to follow. Here at Hartford, you've acquired the skills, the competencies to achieve whatever you put your mind and your heart toward accomplishing. You've learned to ask difficult questions and to examine issues from multiple and diverse perspectives. You've learned to face challenges with courage, with intelligence, and most importantly, with integrity. Obtaining a college degree is an incredible privilege, a privilege that should not be taken for granted. You are in fact now only among 38% of the United States population aged 25 and older to have earned a college degree, only 38%. So with this privilege comes great responsibility. Responsibility to use your education for the betterment of our country and our world. As you begin your next adventure, as you prepare to take on new challenges, I ask that you remember the experiences at UHART that have helped to shape who you are. Remember what you sacrificed, how you grew, how you learned to adapt, how you helped others, and how they helped you. Our future is in your hands, and I have no doubt that your impact will be truly amazing. To the faculty and the staff of the university who have taught and guided these graduates, we, the entire Board of Regents, thank you. To the family members and friends, congratulations and thanks to you as well. Your support has made an immeasurable difference in each of their lives. Graduates, please enjoy today and the pride that it brings. You've earned it, and all of us here at the university look forward to sharing in your continued success. Congratulations again. <laughs> Finally, I'd like to take a moment to recognize our provost, Fred Schweitzer. Fred, please stand. <clears throat> Pro Schweitzer is here today at his final commencement ceremony after serving the University of Hartford for 37 years. <clears throat> He's an accomplished teacher and nationally recognized scholar, and he has served the university and its students in the roles of professor, dean, and finally, Provost. Fred, your impact on the university will be felt for decades to come, and we are profoundly appreciative for your distinguished and dedicated service. Please join me in a round of applause for Fred. And now, please join me in welcoming to the podium David Goldenberg, the distinguished dean of Hillier College for more than 20 years, 
as we prepare to honor our student award recipients. David. Thank you, Chairman Gordon. It has been an honor and a privilege to serve. Good afternoon, graduates. I am so pleased to be here with you today to recognize a few of our incredible graduates. Honorees, when I say your name, please join me at the podium to receive your award. A reminder to our audience that the full profiles of each student award winner are in your program. Mr. President, it is our honor to present Grace Birch. Okay who has been selected as the recipient of the 2022 John G. Lee Award. The John G. Lee Award is named for one of the principal founders of the University of Hartford and its first chairman of the Board of Regents, who placed high value on academic excellence and outstanding community service. It is on the basis of these criteria that this annual award is presented to an exemplary graduating senior from the greater Hartford area. Grace is graduating with a Bachelor of Fine Arts, summa cum laude, from the Hartford Art School, majoring in illustration with a minor in art history. Grace, you have so much to be proud of, as we are of you. Congratulations. Mr. President, I have the honor to present Alberto Benitez, who has been selected as the 2022 John G. Martin Scholar. The John G. Martin and Marion A. Bill Scholarships have made it possible for the university to support a graduating senior for study at a top institution in the United Kingdom. The selection of the John G. Martin Scholar is based on academic achievement personal character, and campus and community involvement. I am pleased to congratulate Alberto Benitez, who is graduating summa cum laude from the College of Engineering, Technology, and Architecture with a Bachelor of Science in Architectural Design and Technology. As the 31st University of Hartford graduate to earn this distinguished scholarship, he will attend the University of Nottingham in England and continue his studies in its master's degree program in architectural design. Alberto, we admire your aspirations and look forward to your great success. Congratulations. <laughs> Mr. President, I have the honor to present Dana Brooks, who has been selected for the 2022 Bell K. Ribicoff Prize. Based on academic excellence, the Bell K. Ribicoff Prize is awarded annually to an exemplary graduating senior at the University of Hartford. Dana is graduating summa cum laude from the College, from the College of Arts and Sciences with a Bachelor of Arts in Criminal Justice with minors in Spanish and sociology. She plans to pursue a career in law as a defense attorney. Dana, we look forward to following your success and cheering you on as you follow your dreams. Congratulations. Good afternoon, everybody. As David said earlier, I'm Fred Schweitzer, and I have been honored to be a member of the University of Hartford community for the last 37 years. It's no exaggeration to say that it's been my absolute pleasure to lead the academic division, academic affairs division of the university as provost. Our faculty, seated in the first few rows, work steadfastly to enhance the academic, personal, and career development of our students they generate new knowledge, and they serve our academic community and the wider community as well. 
And I would be remiss if I did not acknowledge the extraordinary efforts that your faculty have made during these last years through the disruption of the pandemic. Yep. So today, as we celebrate our class of 2022 graduates, I'd also like to take a few moments to recognize our 2022 faculty award winners. Graduates, you've experienced a personal and special bond with your faculty. You've learned from them, listened to them, maybe you've even argued with them. You've studied, you've researched with them, traveled, explored, and grown with them. They've helped you, they've guided you, and they've mentored you. They do every day what they do, and they do because of you. So I'd like to ask the following faculty award recipients to come forward and accept your award as I read your name, and then remain standing as each person is recognized. I encourage all of you to read about their many accomplishments in their profiles beginning on page 11 of your program. Please hold your applause until all recipients are standing. Ivana Milanovic, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, is the winner of the Roy E. Larson Award for Excellence in Teaching. Lynn Kelly, Professor of Communication, and Robert Duran, Professor of Communication, are the winners of the Humphrey Tonkin Award for Scholarship or Artistic Creativity. Maria Esposito Frank, Professor of Italian and Renaissance Studies, is this year's recipient of the Oscar and Shoshana Trachtenberg Award for sustained service to the university. Kristen Comforo, Associate Professor of Communication and Graduate Program Director, Donald, wins the Donald W. Davis University Interdisciplinary Studies Award. Colleen Munoz, Associate Professor of Health Sciences, is this year's winner of the Bell K. Rubikoff Endowed Professorship. And not in attendance today, Rehana Jamshidi, Assistant Professor of Mechanical Engineering, is the winner of this year's Bell K. Rubikoff Junior Faculty Prize. Now a big round of applause for all of these incredible folks. Good afternoon. My name is Pearl Douglas, and I am a member of the University of Hartford's Board of Regents and chair of the board for the Women's Advancement Initiative. Mr. President, I have the honor to present Lucille Nickerson for the degree of Doctor of Humane Lectures. Lucille M. Nickerson, chair Emerita of the University of Hartford Board of Regents, you have faithfully served the university as a regent for 16 years, distinguishing yourself in 2013 as the first woman in the university's history elected to lead the board. <laughs> Previously serving as a trustee of Hartford College for Women, you were instrumental in transitioning the HCW legacy into the vibrant Women's Advancement Initiative. As the founding chair of the initiative, you have been instrumental in establishing leadership opportunities for university students, faculty, and staff with a primary emphasis on the LEAD program for undergraduate women. A former vice president and corporate secretary at Aetna Inc. and the co-founder and president of Nickerson Zegarelli Consultants, your contributions to the broader community are equally inspiring. Determined to give back in meaningful ways after you retired from Aetna, you revitalized and ran a Connecticut nonprofit dedicated to providing elementary school children 
from low-income families with scholarships to attend private or parochial schools. We are grateful for your countless contributions to the university and the community at large. Cecile M. Nickerson, for your groundbreaking service on the Board of Regents, your inspiring dedication to the advancement of women at the university and beyond, and your generous commitment to uplifting educational opportunities for children, the University of Hartford is proud to present you with the degree of Doctor of Humane Letters, Onerous Causa. I just want to say thank you for this honor and it's been wonderful to be part of the university so, for so many years. It is a vibrant community, it's a caring community and when I first joined um, and learned about the university I was hooked, I loved it, I love all of you and congratulations to our graduates. Mr. President, I have the honor to present Karen Lynch for the degree of Doctor of Commercial Science. Karen Ann Lynch, we salute you as one of the most influential people in business today. Your history-making career includes being the first female president of Aetna and as president and chief executive officer of CVS Health, the highest ranking female CEO and the 40th female executive on the Fortune 500 list. <clears throat> Before rising to these leadership roles at Aetna and CVS Health, your well-crafted career included serving in executive positions at Cigna and Magellan Health Services. Your ascent in the business world is all the more inspiring with awareness of your resilience turning personal loss in an early age into a mission to improve health care. You pursued degrees from Boston College and Boston University. U University. Some three decades later, you are a regular presence on the distinguished lists, including Forbes 50 over 50 and the world's 100 most powerful women. Business Insider's top 100 people transforming business and Fortune's list of the 50 most powerful women in business. Recognized as a down-to-earth visionary, you inspire with your drive, your commitment, and your achievements. Mr. President. Karen S. Lynch, for decades of accomplished leadership, your enlightened commitment to a better healthcare system and your elevation of diversity among business executives, the University of Hartford is proud to present you with the degree of Doctor of Commercial Science, Honoris Causa. And now you're 2022 commencement speaker and introduced for the first time as Dr. Karen S. Lynch. Thank you. I can't wait to go home and have my husband call me doctor. Thank you, President Woodward and David, for that very warm introduction. I also would like to thank the University of Hartford, the Board of Regents, for honoring me with the privilege to speak to you on this day of celebration and promise. So good afternoon, graduates. Let's hear it for you.
I also want to say thanks to the administrators and the faculty of the University of Hartford for making 2022 graduation another successful graduation. Your incredible institution is about to yet deliver another class of well-trained, highly skilled professionals who are poised and ready to create creative change in this world when it's needed most. Congratulations, parents, guardians, and role models. You have sacrificed and supported to help make this day memorable. Now, your fledglings can have the best tools possible to help them go forth in the world and fly. And hopefully, get their own apartment. <laughs> and lest I forget, congratulations, graduates. Boom! You did it. Your years of hard work have finally come to fruition. You even spent the last two of those challenging years in the midst of a health crisis that the world has not seen in a century. You are ready to enter the next phase of your life. And perhaps I can leave you with a little something to help navigate your way. So, where will your future professional careers take you? That's a really, really big question with a very complex answer. Many fields that you're in have carefully laid out pathways to success. First you do a little bit in this position, then you apply for that one and before you know it, you're stepping into the next position. Some of you may already have that all mapped out, but truth be told, your career path will probably not be that linear. Detours will happen. Stuff will happen. Life will happen. And your current plans may not happen. Charles Darwin started out as a medical student. Ellen DeGeneres was a paralegal. Nicki Minaj worked as a waitress at the Red Lobster. And Pink worked on the drive through at McDonald's. And President Zelensky was a stand-up comic before becoming the president of Ukraine. And I don't think that he had an inkling of what lay ahead of his, for his country and for him. As for me, I got my degree in accounting. Yep, debits on the left, credits on the right. And when I graduated and sat where you are today, I would have never envisioned myself in this space. If someone had asked me when I sat in your chairs what my ultimate career goal was then, I probably wouldn't answer CEO of a company ranked fourth on the Fortune 500. As a matter of fact, women weren't expected to become business leaders. And not that long ago, high schools were just offering future secretaries of America's club while boys had many loftier opportunities. I was still fortunate to go to college with loftier dreams. But later in my career, when I applied to an executive role, I was told I didn't fit the profile. I'm like, profile, what are you talking about? I have my degree, I have experience. How could I not fit the profile? Well, I was too short, I was too blonde, my voice wasn't deep enough, and I wore too much pink, as if there's such a thing of wearing too much pink. <laughs> you laugh? That's exactly what one senior executive told me after I've had several 
successful years at the company. Why do I share that story with all of you? So that you never, ever let people's opinions or perspectives about you get in your way. Of but of course, you know, I was pretty upset about it, but I followed the classic piece of Irish advice. Forgive your enemies, but never forget their names. <laughs> so graduates, what can I give you on this day to help you find your way through this unpredictable future that's ahead of you? How about a compass? As you know, unlike a GPS device, you'll never lose a signal You'll never burn out a battery, and you'll always be able to find your way. And as all of you know, a compass has four directions, north, south, east, and west. But the compass I'm going to give to you today is just a little bit different. You're north. Become obsessed. I was only 28 years old when my aunt, the woman who raised me, and my personal hero died of cancer. And I remember sitting in the hospital feeling powerless. I didn't understand what the doctors were telling me, and I didn't know what questions to ask for clarity. My frustration and my anger of that situation were a profound spark in my life to want to do something different. I wasn't going to sit back. I wouldn't complain. I wanted to do something about it. I wanted to fix what was happening to us. I became obsessed. I was determined to find a way for us and for everyone to navigate the healthcare system. Didn't my aunt deserve that? Doesn't yours? That gave me the nerve to change the direction of my career. An obsession is what will drive you forward. Very little changes if you're comfortable and complacent. Use that obsession to find the way to do something better for you and for others. Your East don't settle. This is pretty essential if, you have a go if your goal is to enact change. There are many people who weren't willing to settle for less. Are you up to it? It's not impossible. Many of your fellow and honorary alumni refused to settle and they achieved great things. Angela Davis, who is a political activist, has inspired many during her long career. She said this, I am no longer accepting the things I cannot change. I am changing the things that I cannot accept. Ne <laughs> Nelva Marguise Green, whose passion for promoting love, community, and connection for children sadly grew from her daughter's death at Sandy Hook Elementary. She is using her voice and courage to advocate for mental health. The result, she didn't settle, and she is continuing to affect real change. I want you to remember this. You haven't failed until you stopped trying. Yourself, expect the unexpected. Jeff Immelt, the former CEO of General Electric, often ruefully recounts how he became CEO of the company on September 10th, 2001. He says on the second day of his job, he watched a plane equipped with GE engines hijacked by terrorists crash into a building 
insured by GE Capital. No way could anyone have ever expected that. My situation wasn't quite that horrifying, but it was quite serious and quite unexpected. I became C the CEO of CVS Health in February of 2021. I'm sure you all remember what things were like at the time, being only one year into the pandemic. The United States had just surpassed 26 million COVID-19 tests. Vaccines were just being rolled out. The word variant was the number one search on Google. And a frightened and frustrated population was begging for answers. There I was, a brand new leader in a highly visible organization whose mission is to improve healthcare. There isn't a manual in the world that explains the protocol or best practices for handling a global pandemic. This past year has been challenging for CVS Health and my colleagues, but it has been incredibly rewarding. We're making it through together. The learning, expect the unexpected. Stay cool and keep yourself together, or at least look and act that way through the biggest challenges of your life. People follow confidence, not confusion. No one wants to hear a pilot on the loudspeaker say, hey folks, there's a storm up ahead. I have no idea what we're doing. And I have no idea how we'll make it through. What they want to hear, ladies and gentlemen, please remain seated and fasten your seatbelts. Storms up ahead, we know what to do and we'll get through this together. Be that pilot, be that leader. And your West, be kind. If you wanna make a difference in the world, start with the spot right next to you. Every moment is a new opportunity to be kind. And kindness is an act of generosity. Do you see a problem or an unmet need? Your community is the perfect place to become obsessed and to help others. I know you understand the concept of service. Many of you gave up your spring breaks to give back or to better your community. You've responded to the community service fairs and your annual giving days. You volunteered your time and your talent in animal welfare, the arts, education, and so much more. So how can you continue that kindness as you leave this campus? It's simple. Listen. Listen to other people's stories and you will hear what they need. It could be as simple as a smile or a pat on the back for encouragement or a helping hand if they need a bit more. It is impossible for you to know the needs of others without allowing them to tell their story. And everyone has a story. Letting others speak is an act of kindness in and of itself if you really think about it. Now you can take this kindness home with you and learn how to make your own neighborhood a better place. But don't stop there. After your neighborhood becomes your city or your county, or maybe it's your state, and then who knows? Hamdi Uakaya is the CEO of Chivani, whose growth has been breathtaking. He says we need a new acronym in business school. Instead of just measuring ROI, return on investment, we should also be measuring ROK, return on kindness, to measure what individuals and companies do for the community and their country. There is so much more that we all can do, isn't there? So there's your compass. Become obsessed. Don't settle. 
expect the unexpected and be kind. You can start to use your compass as you walk off the stage today, diploma in hand. You are armed with the finest education that you could receive from the University of Hartford. And if any one of you is starting to worry or doubt whether, that, whether or not you'll be able to make it through the wilderness with your compass, don't. Look what you have been through already. 9-11, a financial crisis, strife at home, war overseas, the opioid crisis, COVID, 24-7 news that scares you nightly, and social media that can frankly annoy you daily. Graduates, if you can handle that as you have, you can handle anything that's ahead of you. Graduates, you are at the front door of the rest of your life. Don't just turn the doorknob, kick that door down. I know you can, and I know you will. I wish you all the best of luck and great success in your lives. Congratulations, congratulations. Good afternoon. My name is Katherine Black, and I am the Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences. It is my pleasure to call Valentina Jimenez, President of the Student Government Association. <laughs> Valentina Maria Jimenez is a first-generation Colombian-American college student. She lives in Danbury, Connecticut, and is graduating magna cum laude with a Bachelor of Science in Biochemistry. Her interests are in science policy and environmental chemistry. Valentina has been heavily involved in the Student Government Association, has been a resident assistant and a Red Cap orientation leader. We are grateful for the engagement, energy, and vision she has brought to her position and to the university on behalf of all students. We are delighted to present this Student Government Association gavel to Valentina Jimenez and ask her to deliver the traditional charge to the graduating class of 2022. Hi, everyone. Thank you, Dean Black. Thank you, President Woodward. I'm pulling that up. Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you're all doing well on this gorgeous day and celebrating with the ones that you hold dearest to you. I had actually been avoiding writing this speech. Every time I went to put my pen on the paper, I felt this overwhelming feeling of excitement, sadness, and everything in between. I did, ev I did what every college student does and ended up procrastinating. It didn't, it wasn't until I put on this cap and gown a few days ago um, that I realized that it was time to say goodbye. Our class year is a special one. We were able to experience UHART in pre-COVID our freshman year, online classes our sophomore year, a junior year where half of our peers stayed home and the other half we were only allowed to see when we were outside. Our final senior year is what's considered the new normal. We are constantly in a state of change, rebirth, and adapting to whatever life throws at us. If there's anything in this life that truly embodies the rebirth and new beginnings, it's springtime. Sometimes it comes slow, sometimes it births first suddenly, but springtime always makes its entrance in one way or another. Spring has a way of lifting our spirits in ways we understand and ways we don't. 
What's special about a new season, especially springtime, is that it's truly a renaissance. After months of shorter days, cold, colder weather, death and decay all around us, our entire world is bursting forth into buds and blooms before our eyes. It sounds cliche, but it's always surreal hearing, chirping for the first time after seasons change. You never really think about it, but that moment you realize there's actual flowers on trees outside and birds singing in the morning, it kind of wakes you up, not just physically, but emotionally as well. Not only are we in a constant cycle of changing seasons, but we all experience our own seasons of change as well. There are times in your life when you fall in love for the first time, start a job of your dreams, move to a new city and start your own family. But just as we move from one season to the next, we all deal with not so happy seasons of change as well. Your first heartbreak, failing a class, losing a friend, the entire pandemic, and feeling like you've hit rock bottom. The list goes on. Yet, we are able to make it out of the worst. That wasn't without the support of our family, friends, professor, advisors, coworkers. This is an accomplishment that not everyone is privileged enough to get, yet we are the fortunate few. And even when you do feel like you've hit rock bottom, and even when you feel like you have no fight left in you, that's when the seasons change and the flowers start to bloom again. It might come slowly or things might change before you know it, but we all get second chances and third and fourth in life to dust ourselves off again and try. Time is meaningless after all. You don't have to be someone or do something in a certain amount of time for it to count. As one of my dear friends so eloquently stated, milestones are personal. We have the power to choose what we want to have significance in our accomplishments. This might be your only college graduation or the first of many, but be proud, hold your head up high, and enjoy the celebration because we did it. Thank you. At this time, we will commence with the awarding of the degrees. <laughs> Degree candidates who have achieved special academic honors are listed in your program. Mr. President, I have the honor to call for the presentation of the candidates recommended by the faculty and the Board of Regents for graduation. I now invite Dean Catherine Black from the College of Arts and Sciences to step forward. President Woodward, Provost Schweitzer, I have the honor to present the candidates for the baccalaureate and associate degrees from the College of Arts and Sciences. Will the candidates please rise and remain standing? I now invite Dean Steve Milready from the Barney School of Business to step forward. President Woodward and Provost Schweitzer, I have the honor to present the candidates for the baccalaureate degrees in the Barney School of Business. Will the candidates please rise and remain standing? I now invite Cesarina Thompson, Dean of the College of Education, Nursing, and Health Professions to come forward. President Woodward, Provost Schweitzer, I have the honor to present the candidates for baccalaureate degrees in the College of Education, Nursing, and Health Professions. Will the candidates please rise and remain standing? <laughs> I now invite Dean Hisham al Najjar from the College of Engineering, Technology, and Architecture to step forward. President Woodward, Provost Schweitzer, I have the honor to present the candidates for the baccalaureate and the associate degrees from the College of Engineering, Technology, and Architecture. 
Will the candidates please rise and remain standing? I now invite Dean Nancy Stewart from the Hartford Art School to step forward. President Woodward and Provost Schweitzer, I have the honor to present the candidates for the baccalaureate degree from the Hartford Art School. Will the candidates please rise and remain standing? I now invite Dean Dale Merrill from the Hart School to step forward. President Woodward and Provost Schweitzer, I have the honor to present the baccalaureate degrees for the Hart School. Will the candidates please rise and remain standing? I now invite Dean David Goldenberg of Hillier College to step forward. President Woodward and Provost Schweitzer, I have the honor to present the candidates for the associate degree in Hillier College. Will the candidates please rise and remain standing? I now invite Associate Vice President R.J. McGivney from the University Studies Programs to step forward. President Woodward and Provost Schweitzer, I have the honor to present the candidates for the baccalaureate and associate degrees in university studies. Will the candidates please rise and remain standing? Mr. President, we have the honor to present you the candidates for the baccalaureate and associate degrees in the College of Arts and Sciences, the Barney School of Business, the College of Education, Nursing and Health Professions, the College of Engineering, Technology and Architecture, the Hartford Art School, the Hart School, Hillier College, and the University Studies Program. Here we go. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the regents of the university, I confer upon you the degree for which you have qualified and admit you all the honors, rights, and responsibilities thereto appertaining. And as is the custom at commencement ceremonies and as a symbol of your newly achieved academic status, I now invite the graduates to move their tassels from the right side of their cap to the left. Congratulations! At this time, we will begin with the calling all graduates to come across the stage individually by school and college, beginning with the College of Arts and Sciences. Graduates, as your name is announced, please receive your diploma cover, proceed across the stage, and take a moment to be congratulated by the dean and the provost. Photographs are being taken by a professional photographer off stage, and then you will return to your seat. The audience is requested to please remain seated. Good afternoon. I have the honor to present to you the candidates from the College of Arts and Sciences. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts, College of Arts and Sciences, Abdulaziz Suleiman Abdul Alhadi. Fat 
Fatma Alkadi Cum Laude. Han Victoria Arasim. Jacqueline Beth Argandiza Magna Cum Laude. Ken Arroyo. Nicholas Paul Benjamin, Magnum Cum Laude. Derek Alexander Bennett, Magnum Cum Laude. Stephen James Bonato, Magna Cum Laude. Tanner Michael Bossi, Summa Cum Laude, University Honors with Thesis. George Martin Brown, Cum Laude. Brandy Susanna Brinton, Magna Cum Laude. Valentina Maria Jimenez, Magna Cum Laude. Dana Monique Brooks, Summa Cum Laude, University Honors with Thesis. Lindsay Meredith Dana. Brianne Bellerand. Joshua Budney, summa cum laude. Elasia Robbie Chambers, summa cum laude. Alexander Ixia Cardona, magna cum laude. Trevor Cavanaugh, magna cum laude. Willie Cecilio, magna cum laude. Chad Edward Charette, magna cum laude. Laura Chasaguano. Taylor Dalton, summa cum laude. Xanthu Dao, cum laude. Kaylee A. De Jesus. Kaylin Andre De Passi. Greta De Gasper, summa cum laude. Valerie Lee D.D., summa cum laude. Robin Brooke, Brooks Helms, summa cum laude. Jonah Gabriel Earl, cum laude. Donovan Shane Mabugat Eaton, magna cum laude. Reagan Colby Dodson. Shannon Downey, summa cum laude, University Honors. Lillian Elizabeth Dunn. Rachel Nina Eller, magna cum laude. Brady Scott Evangelist, cum laude, University Honors. Tamira Alyssa Namibia Farrell. Cherie Rose Fitzgerald. Ethan Lee Frankel, magna cum laude. Mars Marie Fulgieri, cum laude. Donovan W. Gavin. Sarah Gasparato, summa cum laude. Maya Claire Germain. Patrick James Gilbert, summa cum laude, University Honors with Thesis. Ryan James Gornot, summa cum laude, University Honors.
Aidan Graham, summa cum laude, University Honors. Paige Barnett Greenwood. Daniel William Harris, cum laude. Cheyenne Chase Hernandez, cum laude. Morgan Paige Hoadley, cum laude. Tony Marie Howland. Thomas Paul Hummel, Jr. Dahlia Damali Hilton. Kayla Catherine Indemonico. Jabria Monique Ingram. Alexis L. Guitard, magna cum laude. Jasmine Kaylee Iverson, cum laude, University Honors. Ebony Simone Kennedy. Bavina Kess. Joshua Evan Kesslinger, magna cum laude. Jared Christopher Kimbrough. Alan Kalenovich, cum laude. Kayla Eve Yegi, magna cum laude. Karen Pearl Katembo, cum laude, University Honors. Rose Marie Jean, summa cum laude. Russell Bruce Johnson Jr., cum laude. Antandra Abigail Hepburn, cum laude. Ali Elizabeth Beck, summa cum laude. Jotham Boyce. Catherine Grace McLean. Grace Michelle Lewis, summa cum laude, University Honors. Sylvia Marili Lopez, summa cum laude, University Honors with Thesis. Eric Edward Makowski, summa cum laude. Jack Ryan Maloney, magna cum laude. Kimberly Jewel Martinez, cum laude. Sine Faith McGowan. Skylar Joy McGrath, magna cum laude. Zachary Max Mersand. Nia Daryl Mills, summa cum laude. Kayvon R. Morgan, magna cum laude. Andrew Michael Moynihan, cum laude. Dylan Murad. Tracy Angel Murray, magna cum laude. Andrea Melissa Navarro. Audrey Ellen Ostek. Dianella Desiree Ortiz Reuter, magna cum laude. Lovia A. Ose, magna cum laude.
Vanessa S. Phillips, cum laude. Yesenia Viani Pilkio Zelo, magna cum laude. Noelia Mary Powell, summa cum laude. Victoria Harmony Propopoulos. Nicholas Elias Rachel. Ariel Grace Ramirez, magna cum laude. Adam Rafati. John Greenacre Robinson, cum laude. Anna Roca. Priscilla Rodriguez. Okay, that's right then. Conrad Sedanacek. Melissa Rose Shoup, magna cum laude. Allison Brooke Schwartz. Amber Shattuck, summa cum laude. Sierra Nicole Smith, cum laude. Tori Janae Smith, cum laude. Brianna R. Spaulding, summa cum laude, university honors with thesis. Isaac Such Kunis, magna cum laude. Zachary Kent Stewart. Brandon Eric Stimson. Camilla Kumari Suraj Bali. Anais Madden. Alexander Leland Taylor. Aliyah Nishe Thomas, cum laude. Melanie Vavarchak, summa cum laude. Bethany Jean Welch, magna cum laude. Brianna Nicolette Welling. Christopher Austin Williams. Catherine Maud Williams. Matthew John Watowitz. Casey Elizabeth Zolo, cum laude. Shelby Elizabeth Zorick, cum laude. Bachelor of Science, College of Arts and Sciences, Anika Sparkles Adama Baptiste, cum laude. Grayley Clark Basico. Angeline Yabo Bogle. Cameron Cleo Butera, summa cum laude, University Honors with Thesis. Melanie Marie Schaefer, summa cum laude, University Honors. Chris Chan, summa cum laude. Adam Walter Culver, summa cum laude. Nesla Maggie Disha, summa cum laude. Lauren Jeanette DeTizio. Michael Thomas Ferger, summa cum laude. Thomas Alfred Goolsby, summa cum laude, University Honors with Thesis. 
Clayton C. Hamilton, cum laude. Jenna Khalil Hamze. Katie Lynn Holmes, magna cum laude. Anya S. Jackson, magna cum laude, university honors with thesis. Shanai Jonas. Rachel Reke Lang, summa cum laude. Daniel Peter Matthew, summa cum laude. Sanalia Nimturen, cum laude. Tyler Dyer. Magdalene Anna Petrowski, cum laude. Daniel Bakin, summa cum laude. Brandon Tyler Rahil. Sarah Michelle Rosenfeld, magna cum laude. Yasaman Salihi. Allison Johanna Salinas Rivera, summa cum laude, university honors with thesis. Spencer Alexander Scoot, magna cum laude. Aaron Michelle Shank, summa cum laude. Jacob Lawrence Woods Weber, cum laude. Sydney Marie Coleman, cum laude. <laughs> Malang Ding Timothy. Sahara Williams, cum laude, university honors. Terrell Campbell, Bachelor of Arts, awarded posthumously and accepted on behalf of his mother, Greta McWhorter. I have the honor to present to you the candidates from the Barney School of Business. Aliyah Michelle Abdullah Sumu Kanlade. Hussein Abul. Halimat Adianju. Cameron Jacob Adler, magna cum laude. Rachel Mary Alsop, summa cum laude. Javon Lee Osbrook. Ijlal Aslam. Kellen Raleigh Bassett, summa cum laude. Anthony Berzinskis, Semra Bolick, magna cum laude. Austin Bond, summa cum laude. Ethan Brooks, magna cum laude. Jacob Benjamin Bussell, summa cum laude. Hello. Jake Michael Chapman, magna cum laude. Samuel Coates. 
Christian Parker Deal, cum laude. Golubuski. Joseph Golubuski, cum laude. Alexa Marie Fazidis, cum laude. Christy Elizabeth Chaska, Chaka, summa cum laude. Sean James Cune, summa cum laude. Heather Nicole Damiani, summa cum laude. Jalen Davis. Terrell Dugard. Evan Michael Dodonna, cum laude. Kamir Nuhil. Hannah Duby. Courtney Jane Berry, summa cum laude. Carolyn Eileen Perry, cum laude. John Robert Contino, cum laude. Matthew Raymond O'Keefe, cum laude. Rowan O'Neill Marbury. Tyler Jaden Oxley. Devin Patrick Baker, magna cum laude. Dominic Isidoro Tuminello. Caitlin Sarah O'Hara. Hannah Marie Chicatelli, cum laude. Zoe McFadden. Leah Gabrielle Fama. Casey Camille Francis, magna cum laude. Brianna F. Botten. Michael Sebastian Arango Valley, cum laude. Mason Tyler O'Connor. Yeah! Daniel Fisher. Tom Krasniki, magna cum laude. Yeah! Rebecca Sarah Rosenfeld, magna cum laude. Hello. Lucas Rabinata, Rabinato de Souza. Paige Daniel Fidak, magna cum laude. Alexandra Michael Lucero, summa cum laude, university honors. Uh -oh. Brandon Ketkeller Karasami. Brianna Akila Khan. Alisa Hoffman. Summa Cum Laude, University Honors. Andrew Lester Luzak, Magna Cum Laude. Christian Teodoro Maisonet, Magna Cum Laude. Jean Mikel Mirage, Magna Cum Laude. Uduak Isaiah. Courtney Herbert. Dominic Savio Higiro. Brandon Errol Matthews, cum laude. Kenneth Alexis Mejia, summa cum laude. Emily Suniga Miranda. Dean Lopa Mystery. Esteban Mateo Molina Aguilar, Magna Cum Laude, University Honors. 
Molly Elizabeth Holmes, cum laude. Rina Mahesh Odedra. Elizabeth Marie Mona, magna cum laude. Sarah Ann Hohenthal, summa cum laude, university honors. Obalua Tamisan Olo. Farah Khalid Omar, summa cum laude. Kevin Padro, magna cum laude. Megan Marie Powell, summa cum laude. Isabel Premkumar. Amal Mohammed Rahman, magna cum laude. Dohaila Rakabi, summa cum laude. Tyler Jude Rice, cum laude. Christina Sophia Roy, summa cum laude, university honors. Janet M. Saba, summa cum laude. Monica Sadil, summa cum laude. Alec Jordan Schmidt, magna cum laude. Caitlin Elizabeth Sargis, magna cum laude. Alexander Harris Serrata, summa cum laude. Jeremiah Shea. Yashad Melind Sinkar, magna cum laude. Caitlin Marion Smith, summa cum laude. Nicholas Sinapi. Angelica Soto, magna cum laude. Hamza Swade, magna cum laude. Brielle Nicole Tolley, summa cum laude. David Felix Ward. George Zell. Thania Rose Villano, cum laude. Jared Timothy Winiars, cum laude. There we go. Nelson Harim Wyatt Jr., summa cum laude. Nice job. Thomas John Summers, summa cum laude. Christopher Thomas Ladiga. Joseph Pradhatko, summa cum laude. Gianna Marie Zima, summa cum laude. Maciel Marie Taveras. Michaela Coles Miano, magna cum laude. Matthew Patrick Hobbs. Gilet Hershko, cum laude. What's your name? Amanda Marie Triolo, summa cum laude, university honors. Samantha Carolyn Bakari, summa cum laude. Janaya Marquez, magna cum laude. Christina Ann Lara, summa cum laude. This isn't the college anymore. I know. Okay. Do you want us to wait? I have the honor to present to you the candidates from the College of Education, Nursing, and Health Professions. <laughs> Bachelors of Science in Education, Ruby Ellen Schweitzer.
Kuma Sunlati. Lily Belly Baker, Magna Cum Laude. Kendall Cecil Murray, Summa Cum Laude. Kirsten D. Pieri, Magna Cum Laude. Daria Gila Rotman, Summa Cum Laude. Haley Aaron Cassidy, summa cum laude. Carrie Margaret Fitzgerald, summa cum laude. Madison Aya Morton Scotta, cum laude. Rachel Marie Sargis, magnum cum laude. Caitlin Clare Falzon, summa cum laude. Kelsey Ann Gachavez, cum laude. Nicole Francis Ganakis, magna cum laude. Madeline Claire Ludwig, magna cum laude. Alexis Michelle. Canton, Canton Cum Laude. Julie Ann Sheehan, Summa Cum Laude. Adeline Claire Garland, Summa Cum Laude. Makia Samantha Benoit, Cum Laude. Taylor Hope Grossman, Summa Cum Laude. Sharon, Sharon Lee Hammer, cum laude. Elizabeth Rose McKin McKillen, summa cum laude. Siona Elizabeth Winkler, summa cum laude. Hattie Marie Hall, summa cum laude. Ethan Jamie DePriest, summa cum laude. Madison Grace DeLauro, summa cum laude. Catherine Marie DuPont, magna cum laude, university honors. I'm now going to announce the, a graduate of a Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Lorraine, Lorraine Diazavito Brito. And now I'm going to announce a bachelor, the Bachelor of Science in, of Health Science. Janelle Advincula Rigor. Taylor Elizabeth Cal, Calvana Cum Laude. Emma Alexia Curry. Summa, summa cum laude, University Honors. Juliana Valerie Kosensky, magna cum laude. Camilla Harris. Gianna Marie Bonacati, cum laude. Brianna Xinyang Warren, summa cum laude. Hunter William Kraus, summa cum laude. Dylan Abankwa Manu 
Magna Cum Laude, Brittany Alexa Sloss, Magna Cum Laude, Shannon Elise Seigel Berry, Magna Cum Laude, Roheen Zara Khan, Tamia Sewell, Cum Laude, Tamaya Ashley Griggs, Cum Laude, Jaylene Quintero, Cum Laude, Andrea Karina Costa Garcia, Julia Claire Atley, magna cum laude. Brianna Elizabeth Harris. Samantha Danielle Krause, magna cum laude. Melissa Louise Ricci, summa cum laude. Fiona Kathleen O'Donnell. Isabel Ann Cummings, summa cum laude. Dylan Richard Bernier, summa cum laude. Abigail Rose Riley, magna cum laude. Alexia Jean Woodruff, magna cum laude. Leah Catherine Kleintop, summa cum laude. Brianna Marie DiCaprio, cum laude. Taiko Clarice Wilson, Bahoon. Cheryl Lee. Lee Sutton, magna cum laude. Danielle Marie Mathura. Michael Lewis Castagno. Matthew Bryce Mulry. Is this you? Bachelor of Science, DPT, and MSPO. Kelly Elizabeth O'Donnell. Kayla Nicole Zygmunt. Kelsey Jennifer Matthew Summa Cum Laude. Arizona Tufeki Magna Cum Laude. Logan Maxwell DeRose Magna Cum Laude. Nicole Marie Morris Summa Cum Laude. Haley Stella Zaggy, cum laude. Brianna Margaret Hanion, summa cum laude. Chloe Marie Phillips, summa cum laude. Megan Rose Savinelli, summa cum laude. Samantha Weinstein, summa cum laude. Jennifer Marion Campbell, summa cum laude. Jamili Lima Pacheco, cum laude. Rachel Elizabeth Boyer. 
Shirley Samantha Sukout, magna cum laude. Nora Amen Awad cum laude. Michael Scott Dunn, magna cum laude. Ryan Richard Kenny, summa cum laude. Daniel Fresco, Francesco DeZuzio. Cameron James Tate, magna cum laude. Andrew Green Dunn, summa cum laude. Mary Cheeman, summa cum laude. Tegan Lee DeVoe, summa cum laude. Katie Elizabeth Josberger, summa cum laude. Alexis Ann Doran, summa cum laude. Alexa Ann Wilson. Tion Lourdes Pamels. Rowan Macy Nadeau, magna cum laude. Erica Heather Silver, magna cum laude. Jenna Romina Barubi, magna cum laude. Sean William Torres, magna cum laude. Bachelor of Science in Radiology, Emily Renee Hart, magna cum laude. Tyler Jared Waller, magna cum laude. Brianna Marie Aquilo. Amina Aliaf, cum laude. Christine Rogers, summa cum laude. Grace Abibi Jano, cum laude. Mackenzie Olson Rin, magna cum laude. Jennifer Rachel Loria Erico. Paige Emily Page Bissell, cum laude. Samantha Renee Harbalik, magna cum laude. Emily Grace Bushnell. Maria Immaculata Bautisti, summa cum laude. Brianna Lee LeBlanc, Magna cum laude. Layla Nicole Holmes, summa cum laude. Kayla Marie Santini, cum laude. Andrew Joseph Benson, magna cum laude. Eric Adam Wachlowski. Devin Eugene Hutchinson, summa cum laude. Bachelor of Science, Respiratory Care. Caitlin Eleanor Odekirk. James Arthur Jadinas, cum laude. Lindsay Ann Jadinas, summa cum laude. Lena Omar Alaroji, magna cum laude. President Woodward, Provost Schweitzer, Dean Alajar, I have the pleasure and honor 
to introduce the graduates from the College of Engineering, Technology, and Architecture. Bachelor of Science, Architectural Design and Technology. Cesar Jose Arce Vasquez, cum laude. Gordon Ignaz Bronitsky, magna cum laude. Dan Han Bernham, cum laude. Edward Capolina III. Maria Sebum, summa cum laude and university honors. Maxwell Robert Jekyll, summa cum laude. Rita Arej Khan, summa cum laude. Joshua Tilbrook Luvali, magna cum laude. Nicholas Robert Lee. Charles William Lumdu, the third. Antonio Cesar Medel, cum laude. Daniel Neil Mele, magna cum laude. Mariana Amaral Oliveira. Noble U. Traquan G.A. Parks. Renee Claire Parry, summa cum laude. Alberto Giuliano Benitez, summa cum laude. Camden James Pegg, summa cum laude. Aurora Nancy Perot, summa cum laude. Alyssa Iris Rankin, magna cum laude. Tanner Alex Rattel, magna cum laude. Noah Rios Hoffman. Alexia Salafia. Joseph Jure Santiago Campos, magna cum laude. David Bontran, magna cum laude and university honors. Griffin Natal Weir. Mary Elizabeth White, magna cum laude. Adam Wesley Williams, magna cum laude. Hannah E. Yizengau. Shanaz Tasnim Zumer, magna cum laude. Bachelor of Science in Audio Engineering Technology. David G. Cipriano, and an Associates in Electrical Engineering Technology, summa cum laude. Silas Holmes, magna cum laude. Renee Daniel Liz, cum laude. Francesco Lupo, and an Associates in Electrical Engineering Technology. Maxwell Van Allen. Adam Douglas Wilson, cum laude. Marie Renee Weiner, and an Associates in Electrical Engineering Technology. Summa cum laude. Bachelor of Science in Computer and Electronic Engineering Technology. Aria Lawrence Brown, cum laude. Joseph Lino Kaksar. Devon Ainsley Dunn, Jr. Juliana Rose Fernandez. Michael Anthony Houghton. Joseph Magnowski. 
Jason Shamar McLean. Alejandro Medina. Danielle Javon Ridley, cum laude. Oludamala Ayukama Sonobi. Bachelor of Science in Electrical Mechanical Engineering Technology. Michael Patrick Burke, magna cum laude. Theodore Michael Carey, cum laude. Evan John Anthony Gargiomo, magna cum laude. Brandon D. Klumdowski, magna cum laude. Casey Germain Hill, cum laude. Ago Hanon, Marquez Mendoza, cum laude. Patrick Michael Padono, the second. Alex Avery Velasquez, cum laude. Davi Wu, cum laude. David Jacob Riker, Reicher. Marvia Cecile Wagnett. <laughs> Bachelor of Science in Engineering, Acoustical Engineering and Music. Nora Mylin Parr, cum laude. Kevin Jenner Fennell, cum laude. Seth L. Lunick, cum laude. Peyton James Meisner, magna cum laude. Michael Angelo Scardino, Jr., magna cum laude. Jason Frederick Smith, magna cum laude. Evan Raymond Webb, cum laude. Grace Margaret Wood, summa cum laude. Bachelor of Science in Biomedical Engineering. Jason Kissy Adi. Calvin Alexander Anthony. Raylene Borges, magna cum laude. Isabella Teresa Lanchik, summa cum laude. Natalie Mularzak. Dylan James Mulligan, summa cum laude. Spencer Griffin Nodak, cum laude. Siklali Rangel. Jordan Danielle Smith, summa cum laude. Joseph Sebastian Stevenson, summa cum laude. Joshua Frederick Winklebauer. Lauren Winters, magna cum laude. <laughs> Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering. Abdullah Abrahim. Mubarak Almutari. Salem Almutari. Bushra Abdullah Al Tabi. Jonah Barian, also a Bachelor of Science in Architecture Design, summa cum laude. Simon Arthur Brooks. Barrington Brown. Patrick John Collins, summa cum laude. Kashif Okele Duhani. Chris Fernandez. <laughs> Serena Gerlinus. Joseph Karn, magna cum laude. Kayla Krijaisel. Sydney Lewis, summa cum laude and university honors with thesis. Allison Minor. Jay Restrepro. Shayna Elise Robbins. Who's the 
Hunter Rock, summa cum laude. Shiny Sukla, magna cum laude. Bachelor of Science in Computer Engineering. Esteban Felipe Bravo Artegra. Colin James Mulcondren, magna cum laude. Kaya Pina. Michael Anthony Shanklapur, summa cum laude. Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering. Nasser Alkandari, summa cum laude. Mohammed Al Kahaldi, cum laude. Abdulaziz Altoum, cum laude. Natanal Tasfe Bakel, summa cum laude. Gary Ray Hoxha. Maisha Malinha, magna cum laude. Vanessa Maria Martin, cum laude. Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering. Canu Victor Alsos, magna cum laude. Bernard Louis Balco. John Francis Bugay. Brianna Ellen Cervello, cum laude. Chun Sky Chang, cum laude. Joshua Mathur Kakuzo, magna cum laude. Antonio Corrado, magna cum laude. Kyle William Cunningham. Rafael Davida, cum laude. Brasden Elijah Ellis, cum laude. Todd Michael Gowlin, summa cum laude. Noriko Maria Gonzalez. Vivekantanan Govindar. Raul Junior Ecclesis. Sri Kushrana Khan. Tessa Marie Kopek, cum laude. Protect Krishna. Kyle Joseph Kronhomer. Edward Mikolai Lund, magna cum laude. Jason Edward Marshall, summa cum laude. Richard Garwood Miller, summa cum laude and university honors. Pierce Wellington Mahalan. Kevin Sandran Mathu. Jirivasan Nikolandan. Kenneth Ong Tsingjong. Angie Lee Perez. Jason Prakash. Bhuvasat Ravikanar Murthy. Samsudar Sambao. Hey, Jonathan Robert Salandardo, cum laude. Hey David Michael Spencer. Carlos Javier Texador. Christian Gabriel Vidi, magna cum laude. Michael A. Wint. Bachelor of Science in Engineering and Interdisciplinary Engineering. Kevin Lopez Geraldo. I have the greatest pleasure and honor to Tommy present Quayle. to you the candidates from the Hartford Art School. Awesome. 
Tamaya Elizabeth Ko, cum laude. Lindsay Nicole Cutter. Anna Podos, summa cum laude. Ileana Lepson, summa cum laude, University Honors. Chloe Elise Moore, magna cum laude. Evelyn Rose Constance Matika, summa cum laude. Alexis Brianna Cook. Anastasia Marie Malinsky, cum laude. <laughs> Rhiannon Olette, summa cum laude. Jane Margaret Linnell, summa cum laude, BA Art History. Chloe Elizabeth Hong, cum laude, BA Art History. Kayla Ann Fern, summa cum laude, BA Art History. Cherokee Cowherd, cum laude. Brianna Hamilton Harding. Madison Emily Koki, summa cum laude. Catherine Elizabeth Ranieri, summa cum laude. University Honors. Emily Elizabeth Fountain, magna cum laude. <laughs> Juliet um, Ann Finn, summa cum laude. Abigail Marie Tynan, magna cum laude. Gabriella Withy. Megan Elizabeth Coward, summa cum laude, University Honors. Elijah Jacques Starks. Devin Michael Lane, summa cum laude. Gianna Leonard, summa cum laude. Sandria Marie Oliver, summa cum laude. Natalie Marie Cruz, cum laude. Barry Rachel Greenwald. Eve Elizabeth Chiano, magna cum laude. Christopher James Keller. Kimberly Janice McGuire, summa cum laude. Courtney Willow Climac, magna cum laude. Marin Miranda Christine Flanagan. <laughs> Catherine Hannah Kozak, magna cum laude. Malena Rose Wilton, magna cum laude. Bailey Ruiz, cum laude. <laughs> Grace Birch, summa cum laude. <laughs> Samuel Peter Swap, cum laude. Spencer John Beddington, magna cum laude. Mackenzie Lynn Shaughnessy, magna cum laude. Stephanie Marie Perez, magna cum laude. Miles Mason Scott, magna cum laude. Amelia C. Schreger, cum laude. Jamie Bureau Alfonso, magna cum laude. Edward Allen Baxter, summa cum laude. I love you, Sophie. Claire Gronstein, summa cum laude, University Honors. I'm sorry, Jake Gabriel Mancuso, magna cum laude. Caitlin Marie Elizabeth Denno, cum laude. Sophia Bonnell, magna cum laude.
Kim Teen Lee, summa cum laude, University Honors. Christine Velasco Galares, magna cum laude. Marion Octas, magna cum laude. Amy Go, summa cum laude. Rebecca Lynn August, summa cum laude. Hannah Nicole DiMartino, summa cum laude. Bethany Jean Likowski, <laughs> magna cum laude, University Honors. Danny Christensen, summa cum laude. Marie Alexandru, cum laude. Zoe Nicole Anderson. Kathia Lorraine Barreto Ramos. Thomas Andres Gomez, summa cum laude. Marianne Zacharis Wainwright, summa cum laude. Keon D. Cooper. Ryan Anthony Carano, cum laude. Sophia Joan Polini, cum laude. Sarah Syriax. <laughs> Caroline Ann Galante, summa cum laude. I have the honor to present you, to you the candidates from the Hart School. Dean Merrill, I now present the graduates who are receiving the undergraduate diploma. Kevin Michael Barocas. Dean Merrill, I now present the graduates who are receiving the Bachelor of Arts degree in music. Sarah Elizabeth Davis. Donna N. Thompson. Bachelor of Arts in University Studies, Dylan Andrew Armstrong. Dean Merrill, I now present the graduates who are receiving the Bachelor of Arts degree in Performing Arts Management. Max Lori Alphonse. Catherine Mary Plutnicki. Dean Merrill, I now present the graduates who are now receiving the Bachelor of Fine Arts degree in acting, actor training. Gavin Almahru Damien Loring, cum laude. Hallie Elizabeth, Eliza Friedman, summa cum laude. Benjamin Paul Hazeltine, magna cum laude. Miriam Rose Holzbeck, summa cum laude. Brandon David Jameson. Julia Lynn McFarlane, summa cum laude. Abby Ray Marcus, summa cum laude. Scott Walter Mazapika, summa cum laude. Rachel Collins McGehee, Magna cum laude. Avery Gislen Woulet, summa cum laude. Caroline Faith Rosenblum, summa cum laude. Mary Kathleen Charlotte Sheen, cum laude. Alexander Charles Simmons, summa cum laude. Samuel Duff Vanna, cum laude. 
Dean Merrill, I now present the graduates who are receiving the Bachelor of Fine Arts degree in Music Theatre. Delaney Hope Ager, magna cum laude, University Honors. Isabel Grace Archer, summa cum laude, with University Honors. Stephanie Iris Baduccio, summa cum laude, University Honors. Thomas Keith Bergeron, summa cum laude. Anne Geneva Buckley. Griffin Leo Cole, magna cum laude, University Honors. Nicholas Roy Decker. Kristen Elizabeth Dowling, magna cum laude. Emily Elizabeth Dunn, summa cum laude, University Honors. Jacqueline Nicole Garmon, magna cum laude. Jonathan Ryer Haller, cum laude. Grace Parker Hansen, magna cum laude. Owen Kent Ng, summa cum laude. Tanner James Jones, cum laude. Nicholas Michael Lamberte, cum laude. Isabella Nicole Lopez, cum laude. Charlotte Marie McMurray, summa cum laude. Christina Corinne Morrill, magna cum laude. John E. Pacetti, magna cum laude. Lilith Ann Quint, magna cum laude. Lindsay Elizabeth Renner, cum laude. Sheridan Rose Schreier, summa cum laude, University Honors. Emma Catherine Chacal, summa cum laude. Erica Robin Spondike, summa cum laude, University Honors. Emily Rose Strasheim, Strasheim, summa cum laude. Jacob Benjamin Tall, magna cum laude, University Honors. Alexandra Tarzanoff, summa cum laude. Madeline Bian Young, summa cum laude. Colan Eric Zimmerman, magna cum laude. Alexandra Nicole Zagrafo, summa cum laude. Dean Merrill, I now present the graduates who are receiving the Bachelor of Fine Arts degree in Ballet Pedagogy. Colby Brooke Connolly, magna cum laude. Hannah Casey Davis, cum laude. Dean Merrill, I now present the graduates who are receiving the Bachelor of Fine Arts degree in Dance Performance. Alexander Douglas Larson, magna cum laude. Blue Adam Richardson. Dean Merrill, I now present the graduates who are receiving the Bachelor of Music degree in Instrumental Performance. Marielle Athena Christiana, summa cum laude. Thank you. Beckett Thomas Cook, summa cum laude. Howlin Lee, magna cum laude. Matthew Edward Murphy, summa cum laude. Arisa Sato, magna cum laude. Joshuan Song, summa cum laude. Ruyi Zhu, cum laude. Yiming Zhong, cum laude. Dean Merrill, I now present the graduates who are receiving the Bachelor of Music degree in Vocal Performance, Alyssa Jeanette Clancy. Abigail Maria DeRocher, 
magna cum laude. <clears throat> Rhiannon Heather Elliott, summa cum laude. Zee Kun Huang, summa cum laude. Yu Sun, magna cum laude. Dean Merrill, I now present the graduates who are receiving the Bachelor of Music degree in Music Education Instrumental Emphasis, Robert Sebastian Ciafiglione, summa cum laude, trumpet performance. Peter Andrew Davis, summa cum laude, guitar performance. Todd Daniel Dupre, Jr., summa cum laude. Brittany Jean Frisbee, magna cum laude. Riley George, magna cum laude. Hannah Mae Sternberg, summa cum laude, percussion performance. Matthew Thomas Strang, magna cum laude. Dean Merrill, I, present, I now present the graduates who are receiving the Bachelor of Music degree in Music Education, Vocal Emphasis. Rachel Abrams, summa cum laude. Zachary Quinn Cummins, summa cum laude. Johanna Rose Curran, magna cum laude, voice performance. Juliana. Jeremy R. Lang, cum laude. Christina Eleanor Miller, magna cum laude. Samantha Jean Norman, summa cum laude, university honors. Ash Powers, summa cum laude. Rachel Ellis Salem, magna cum laude. Travis Nya Tran. Thank you. Anna Wooden, summa cum laude. <clears throat> Dean Merrill, I now present the graduates who are receiving the Bachelor of Music degree in composition. Dawson Dominic Atkins, summa cum laude, university honors. Dean Merrill, I now present the graduates who are receiving the Bachelor of Music degree in Music Management. C.J. Diogwardi, cum laude. Dean Merrill, I now present the graduates who are receiving the Bachelor of Music degree in Music Production and Technology. David Kurt Kuhn. Christopher Peter Wilson, cum laude. Dean Merrill, I now present the graduates who are receiving the Bachelor of Music degree in Jazz Studies. Conway C. S. Campbell, Jr., cum laude. Jared Davis Marcelin. James Patrick Gavigan, cum laude. Akeen Khalif Hobson. Taylor Alicia Renee McCoy, cum laude. Nigel Bossenberry Regan, summa cum laude, university honors. I have the honor to present to you the candidates from Hillier College. Laurel Anne Marie Clark, Associate of Arts. Jerissa Enid Rivera. 
Ke Keishla Sindel Mirabel, Francesca Pierre Lewis, Shibani Kor Lubana, Mackenzie Ade Smith. Aaron Lynn Dade. Anthony Boogs O'Banner. Anthony Boogs O'Banner. Prem Joshwant Rana. Dina Heather Solomon. Gloria Marie Torres. Grace Moreau Dowling. Alyssa Locke. Renee Baisden. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I have the honor to present to you the candidates from University Studies. Aaron Kimberly Aldi, magna cum laude. Sine Essence Antoine. Triola Bell. Jessica Annabelle Bryce. Timothy Adam Fengler, Jr. Jeremy Adam Fournier. Nicholas Grenice. Brianna Andrea Hicks. Elizabeth M. Kennedy. Amber Monique Murphy, magna cum laude. Carly Denise Schellenberger, summa cum laude. Congratulations. I'd like to ask the audience to remain seated and the graduates to please stand. Yeah. Fellow members of the class of 2022, you have heard the applause of your family, friends, faculty, and staff as your names were called today. I invite you now to look in their direction and applaud for them for their support during the years out here at the University of Hartford. Thank you. You may be seated and please remain seated until the recessional has ended in just a few moments. Together, we have endured what has been an extremely challenging time globally over the last couple of years. We have proven our resilience and determination, and this is a once in a lifetime accomplishment we can all be proud for. Congratulations to the class of 2022.